Greetings and salutations, guys. Hayden here. Welcome to our Thursday morning sale this Tuesday, November, or Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, November 17, 2022. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Uh, let's see who's in here really quickly. There's Shiloh. Hello, Shiloh. There's Kathleen, Edie. Hi, Edie. Odelia. Oh, there's Linda. Hi, Linda. Dorothy, hi guys. Oh, you guys, if you didn't see um, Linda's live with me from the other day, you guys have to go check that out. It was so much fun. She did her top eight favorite things, and it was really, really cute, and you guys have to watch that. So um, that was from the live on Tuesday. Uh, let's see. Hi, Sharon. Oh, have fun at the gym. And there's Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Let's see. Uh, hi, Boots. How are you? Hi, Anita. Hi, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I have my coffee ready, and I am rearing to go. I uh, have a bunch of goodies for you guys, too. So I'm super excited. Hi, Tara. Oh, if you guys can help me think of a question, too. That will be awesome. I have another one of these pouches for you guys today for the giveaway. This one is just, like, random, like, Sanrio characters. And they're all, like, little snacks. So there's, like, a cupcake, a little ice cream cones, and lollipops and stuff. So lots of little cute guys on there. So that's today's giveaway. How do I turn the sound off on this thing? Oh, no, that's not it. There you go. <laughs> okay. But yeah. Oh, CF. Yes, I do have a Celine. So, okay, this could be our first item. If you guys want to, But I've already shown it a couple times. But it's a Navy Celine um, in suede. Hi, Melissa. How are you? I'm still up a blueberry cinnamon. Ugh, Linda. Delicious. I kind of, like, is it too much to have coffee and then have that afterwards? Because I was, like, thinking about that, too. Like, would it be too much if I had, like, two, like, warm beverages in the morning? Like, right after each other. <laughs> Ooh, you know, let's do that, Edie. What is your favorite holiday treat or candy? Perfect. Oh, hold on. I need to take this question out. This was from the other day. All right. This is our question. Thank you again, Edie. What is your favorite holiday treat slash candy? Like, what is your favorite thing, like, for, for the holidays, Thanksgiving? What is your favorite thing? What do you look most forward to to eating on Thanksgiving? Oh, Boots, what did you have for brunch? Okay, and let me leave the link for the giveaway right here. Okay, so leave your answer right there in the comments of that video. And then at the end of today's live, we're going to be answering, or we're going to be answering, we're going to be um, picking a winner. But how is everyone's day so far? Are you guys all excited for the weekend? I can't believe Thanksgiving is literally next week. I feel like I'm so unprepared. Uh, Mom... I think she finished finalizing our Thanksgiving menu, like, last night. So, I don't know if we're going today, maybe tomorrow, or at the very beginning of next week, we're going to be grocery shopping for all this stuff for Thanksgiving. She's already been prepping stuff um, for Thanksgiving. She made shopao, which is in the freezer. Um, she started making the... Uh, I think she made, like, a raspberry preserve and then something else. Uh, yeah, a lot of things. Hi, Melissa. Okay. But since CF asked about the Celine, I'm just going to show this one really quick, and that'll be item number one. But, CF, if you're interested, this is a Celine Phantom. 
in navy suede. She's gorgeous. The bottom is just a regular smooth leather as well as the handles. And the interior also has the same smooth leather. This also does come with a dust bag. And there's the interior right there. And she is beautiful. She sits really nicely too. She's not like all, she doesn't get saggy or anything when there's nothing inside of her. You can wear it like that or with her little wings going in. So she's super pretty and in really, really beautiful condition. There's only one, there's one exterior front pocket and then there's one interior pocket right inside there. Do you, oh my gosh, CF, we had Christmas before it was even Halloween. There was already Christmas stuff in the groceries, in the supermarkets, Target, Walmart. Yeah, there's already been a ton of Halloween candies, Halloween decorations. I feel like all of it's already almost sold out in the stores. Like I went to Target yesterday and all the, all the Christmas stuff was like literally already sold out. It was crazy. So this is our Navy Celine Phantom in suede and smooth leather. And this one was $700. That's going to be item number one. All right. Hi, Walk Runner. Hi, Finding Solace. How are you? Wait, Finding Solace, when is your next um, whatnot sale? <laughs> Hi, Don. Oh, that's exciting. Yay, I'm glad you're here, Walker Runner. Right? Navy, it's such a good color. But if you already have one, totally understandable. All right, item number two that we have for today, I have the cutest little Rebecca Minkoff leather pouch. How fun is this? It's in black leather, silver hardware. It has the little tassels on here. These are like actual pockets. Like I don't really know what would fit in here. Maybe like a couple Advil or Tylenol or something. But really cute. Uh, there's a little Rebecca Minkoff stamping on the back. It's a little bit rubbing off kind of right there in the middle, but it's still there. You can definitely still see it. Um, then in the inside, we have a little lobster claw for your keys, and then it's just a black lining in the interior, nice and clean. You can fit your cards in here, uh, your AirPods, change, whatever will go inside of there. Candy's Christmas Halloween. Oh, Kathleen, same. I'm trying to get all of the Halloween candy out of the house because I keep, like, snacking on them <laughs> whenever I walk by the container. So I'm like, ah, kids, get this out of here. But this is it. This is item number one tonight. <gasps> Ooh, what time? Finding Solace. I have to I have to join because I haven't been able to join any of your lives yet, and I really want to. So this is a uh, Rebecca Minkoff um, small key change pouch with silver hardware. And this one's how much, Phaedrin? Okay, we're going to do this one for $35. I know, Boots, right? You got to watch our sugar intake. Okay, so that's item number two is our little Rebecca Minkoff. Oh, Linda's calling it. Congratulations, Linda. I know how much you love these little pouches. Yay. Okay, you guys, 7 p.m. Central Time. You guys got to join Finding Solace. Actually, let me get the link really quick for your live. Dun, dun, dun. So you guys can um, click on it. You can turn on your notifications on the WhatNot app. And then you can watch. Okay. Finding Solace. Where are you, friend? Wait a minute, I don't see you, where are you? 
I was able to... Oh, there you are. Soulless found and curated. There we go. Okay. And there's our sale right here. Oh my gosh, are you singing? That's so cute. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna bookmark that. Super excited. Oh my gosh, Thursday karaoke. I love that. Karaoke is my favorite. Okay, here is the link, you guys. Um, so you can turn on your notifications and so that you can join. It is right there. Join Finding Solace tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time, okay? There we go. Bye, Sharon. Have fun at the gym. Oh, wait, I mean, oh, gym. Oh, yeah, gym and then the thrift stores. I hope you'll find a lot of treasures. <laughs> Finding Solace, maybe you should. So that way it'll be easier to find you. So that way it's the same, like... You have the same name on all platforms. That'll make it a lot more cohesive and easier to find. Um, do you still have the black made well small to Sally, I'm sorry, I do not. Um, but I will let you know if I find any more. Okay, so that was item number... Oh! I don't know if I gave you the gavel, Linda, but congratulations. Uh, that guy is going to you, our little Rebecca Minkoff. And then number three, the boys are home. They're so excited because they wore Uggs to school today. Uh, it's just like, no, sir. <gasps> Kathleen, I'm sorry to hear that, but we're all here for you. I know how difficult that must be. And we have our little group in our Discord, too, for our little weight loss group. So... I, I mean, definitely, if you need anyone to talk to or chat with, you can go into there, too. But Matt Foreman is amazing. I think both of my parents are on it. <gasps> Zachary Binks! Hey, you guys want to see Zachary Binks' new haircut? Careful, Zachary Binks. Uh, yeah! Okay. <gasps> Zachary, look at Zachary's new haircut. How do you guys like it? I just gave him a haircut the other day. Where's, um... Edie said something. And they're just taking off his sweaty feet. <gasps> How's your, how are your sweaty feet inside your Uggs, Zachary Banks? Very sweaty. I can smell them from here. Yo, really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Eliza, feet. wow, look at you guys. are so fall-inspired today. I don't Zach, know. Eliza's next for the haircut. Look at... No! Look at ah! No! no! It, they just said, like, a huge... Edie said like a paragraph or something. Oh, as Kathleen said you look very handsome, Zachary Banks. Where's Elizo? <gasps> There's Elizo. He's hiding. Do you guys think Elizo should get a little trim? Just a little trim, Elizo. We're not going to cut off a lot of hair. You out. No, just a little bit. An hour. No, an hour? Because your hair is so much. Oh, there's Yasmin. <laughs> That's too... What is that little mushroom? There we go. That is so Where's cute. Eliza? He's hiding. Oh my gosh. That <laughs> Anita, not yet. I, I've only been finding glass ones. So no crystal yet. I'm still looking. Oh, Boots, they just came home. They had a half day today. Hey, Cooch, I literally just bought that from Daiso. What? The same exact thing. Uh, the little pill holder? Yeah. I'm going to put band-aids in there, too. Zachary, don't cover Eliza Binks. I'm Hendrix. No. No, I have Hendrix. You're not Eliza. Hendrix, peek out. I'm not Eliza. I'm Hendrix. That's what I always said to my. Oh, uh, they're off <laughs> early today. They, just, they said kids Yeah, we're just no, going to give him a little trim. They just got home. He just needs a little trim on his ends because he has a lot of split ends. He hasn't cut his hair for almost a year. <laughs> the last time you cut your hair was in the beginning of the year when you cut it yourself. Do you remember? That was <gasps> the last time he got his hair cut? Yeah, that was the last time oh, I cut no his way. hair. No way. Right. Was when you cut it. Don't even talk when about When you both cut his head. hair. That's enough. Oh, that's enough. And Eliza was traumatized. Eliza, don't do that. That's not nice. 
Okay. All right, go do your homework. Yeah, come on. Go, go, go. Do your homework, then you I can come back. your assessment thing that Ooh, you Ooh, you have an me? assessment from school. Yeah, the teacher said I have to sign it. <gasps> oh, yeah, I have to. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right, Eliza, you're next. That's good. I'm, I believe you, actually. Come here, say hi. Please. Say hi. Please. 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 We're just gonna cut a little bit. Doesn't matter, okay? I know. Just a little bit. You know, Zachary. I know it's just, just a, a, a state little test. bit, like, like this much. This much? No. Or this much? That How about itty bitty? Just, just a, a little, little itty like bitty trim. So that one. Like okay, like this much. Just like, like this. Much. Like this much. Like a little, little bit, like this. No, like this. Like this. Oh, your finger's growing. Why are you making it big? No, like, like this. Like this. No. Stop it! <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Are you gonna do your homework now? Oh my gosh, this is really good. My hair's really good. It doesn't it's need so a good. haircut. You just need a little trim it's because your your, your hair gets tangled too easily. That means you have split ends. Okay. No. Maybe later. We're just gonna really a little great. bit. Just a little bit. I need a. Ah, uh, just a little bit. Okay. Go, go do your homework first, and then you can come back. Go. One, two, jump. Woo! Okay. Come here, baby. Oh, I can't. Oh, my hair's really too beautiful. It's too beautiful. <laughs> it's too beautiful. Too beautiful. Well, you can't make all the other kids jealous with your beautiful hair. Your beauty you is too beautiful. You gotta get. You gotta get. You gotta be humbled a little. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Sorry, guys. Um. Oh, boots. Your nephew has the same kind of hair. Oh, fine. <laughs> All right. Our third item for the day. What do we have? Oh, okay. So, I don't know. I think everyone has kind of, like, different reactions to different medications. And, like, certain medications don't work for everyone. But, yeah. I think it's, like, whatever works for you. Because not everything works for everyone. Just like with Tylenol and... Um, aspirin i think like half people like half the people like don't react to tylenol or anything like it doesn't do anything or it gives them like really bad stomach aches cut or vice versa especially with aspirin aspirin is made of oil of wintergreen which is from like a plant and i remember in chemistry we actually made our own aspirin in class though it wasn't purified enough to be able to actually ingest it because it'll give you really bad stomach cramps but people will get that if they take it especially if they're like allergic to that kind of stuff Anyway, hi Anne. This is our next item. This is a um, a Brooks Brothers fur hat, and it's made of dyed mutton lamb, um, and by a brand called North King. The this hat was made in USA. It's really cute. It's in super good condition. It's a size medium. I would keep it, except like it squishes my head. Like, it definitely does not fit. I look like I'm a South Park character. Though I kind of like it. Like, I, it doesn't even go down to my ears. Like, it is small on me. But, again, I have a really big head. It also has these little flaps in the back. So, that way, when you wear it, you have little, like, covers for your ears. And I tried it out last night. Like, when I was walking the dogs and it was pretty, like, cold outside. It's so nice. But it's just, like constricting my brain like the blood flow was not going in but this is going to be item number two three so this is our um brooks brothers fur hat gray it's not like a beanie because it has like like the classic kind of like hat shape on top but i don't know it, it kind of like looks like a beanie um but it's like structured like it doesn't stretch on the inside this is what the inside looks like. There's, like, the Brooks Brothers tag and all that stuff. Um, and I believe this is, like, a vintage hat. Though they do still make this, I believe. And they have, like, it's exactly the same. It just has updated tags on the inside. But it's really cute. It feels like um, they have, like, you know, like, those Russian fur hat things. I feel like that's kind of, like, what it looks like. But I don't know. I kind of like it. Can I just pull off wearing it? But it's, I feel like I can't. I wonder how the kids would look at this. All right, how much is this going to be, Vadrian? All right, we're going to do this one for $45. 
And this one is in like new condition. This can be item number three. Our Books Brothers fur hat, $45. It's super warm, super comfy. It looks, they look like my grandpa's hat. <laughs> I really like it though. I just wish it was a bigger size, but it's a medium. Oh, I should have, I should have put that on that it was a medium. Size medium. Oh, you're gonna you're calling it plant, Pinoy Plant Mom. Congratulations, <laughs> Babushka vibes for sure. And but congratulations, Pinoy Plant Mom. This one's going to you. Oh, I'm so excited. This hat is so cute. I just wish it fit me better. I was literally looking for a larger size last night, and I found one, but it was already sold. All right. Up next, we're going to go to item number four. Hi, Dodo Bird! I didn't see you there for a second. All right, up next, we have item number four. Now that my hair is like a mess. Uh, let's do, oh, let's do this guy. This one is so cute. This is a vintage Furla handbag, and it's made in Italy. It's so cute, just like a little, like, top handle bag. Um, it's in this metallic, like, it's like a metallic gold, um, what's the word? What could you, what would you call this leather beater? Like the shiny leather? It's like a patent, I think. Yeah, it's like a patent, but then it has like another piece of plastic that goes over it. So it's kind of like puffy. I don't know. It's really cute. And it's very actually on trend right now with um, a lot of designers doing like the puffy designs again, like puffy bags. And this is in metallic gold. It has a silver furla charm right here. And it's just a top handle. You can wear it in, like, the crook of your arm. There's no crossbody strap or anything. You can't attach one on there. Um, there is a middle dividing zipper pocket. Um, the interior is in pretty good shape. There's no, like, stains or anything inside. And this one has a little furla tag right there. Made in Italy. It is quilted. Yeah, it's a quilted patent. There you go. And then, like, the it has, like, an... Like an overlay of a plastic, and it's like puffy. I don't know if it's like coming across, but there's like the patents underneath the plastic. It does kind of have like an Austin Powers vibe, right? It's very like kind of 70s, right? 70s? Is that like the era of Austin Powers? I don't know the years, but super cute. And this is going to be item number four. Our metallic gold patent puffy furla mini handbag. And this one's how much for Adrian? Okay, this one is going to be... We're going to do $35 for this guy. That's going to be item number four for our metallic furla. Okay, then we're going to go to item number five. Oh, Tara, you're going to get gastric sleeve surgery? Wow. Hi, Pauline. I had an aunt that did that. It actually worked out really well for her, so. Okay, that's our little furla. That's going to be item number four. Woo! All over. All right, up next, we got item number five, and let's do this guy. Now I have a Dooney and Burke. It's a little mini flat crossbody bag, and this one is in a brown embossed snake, and in between, like, the faux scales, it's suede, and then it just has, um, like, Vachetta leather trim. There's the back. It has a crossbody strap. It is adjustable. It has two front pockets and then main compartment. There's a little bit of darkening inside each of the pockets 
just from like normal wear. Um, but it's a really cute bag. Great little crossbody, perfect for every day. And this is going to be... I got eyes. <laughs> okay, this is our um, brown snake embossed printed Dooney and Burke flat crossbody bag. Alright, this guy is going to be $40. It's going to be item number five. Super cute. There we go. Put that right there. All right, up next, we're going to go item number six. And let's do this guy. This is a really cute little coach shoulder bag. It's in tan and then brown with silver hardware. This one does have a little bit of wear. You can see that the leather does have like some patina to it. This kind of lighter colored tan always gets like a patina. You can see back here, like there's like a beautiful kind of like darker stripe down the middle. It almost has kind of like a ombre kind of effect. It has a little hang tag right here. Um, there is like some slight darkening on the corners, as you can see, just from normal use. I think there's like a little pen mark just right there. Uh, boots. Bo oh, boots, did you ask a question? I'm sorry. Hi, Tanya. Oh, the Soho flat bag. Thank you, Tanya. Soho flat bag. It's a great little shoulder bag. So cute. It's a good size, too. There's a large back pocket right there. A magnetic top flap. And then the interior looks like this. Right there, there's a zipper pocket in the back and then two open pockets on the other side. Uh, brown fabric lining. Oh, it's okay, boots. <laughs> but yeah, like just know that the exterior does have like some signs of wear, but I feel like it makes it look even more beautiful. I really like the patina that the tan leather has gotten. And that's going to be item number six. Uh, tan and brown leather... Coach Soho flap bag with silver hardware. And this one. Okay, this one's going to be $45. That's going to be item number six. Okay. Up next, we have... Oh, nice, Tanya. That's a lot cheaper than what I got mine for. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> but there we go. Super cute little brown coach Soho shoulder bag. All right. Then up next. Oh, you know, I still have this beautiful vintage Prada belt. This is in black leather with gold hardware. Um, it has Prada right there on the leather. And then also has little Prada right there on the hardware um this one is a size 32 here's all the markings and stuff on the belt so it's size 32 let me show you how it looks like done up the leather is in really great shape there's no like um weird like malformations in the leather from use and that's how it looks belted up Size 32. It's so cute. I wish I could wear this belt. I can kind of get it, like, cinched around me, but it's a tight squeeze. I'm like a, like a hot dog. <laughs> but there you go. This is going to be number seven. Vintage Prada black belt with brass hardware, size 32. And this one is how much, Fade Rain? Okay. 
It's a 32-inch waist, Tara. Okay, we have this one. I think we had like a 120 or... I don't know. We're going to do this one for $90. I'm going to bring it under 100 That's going to be item number 7. It's in really great shape. It's a beautiful belt. That one's going to be $90. And up next, got number 8. I wish this belt fit me. Mom's really sad too. She really likes this belt also, but it doesn't fit either one of us, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, next up, I have... Oh, okay. I still have this MCM white leather backpack. This one's so cute. You can use this as a top handle bag or you can use it as a shoulder bag. So you can like change the straps up, but it's a uh, white pebbled leather. It's kind of like an off-white. It's not like a white white. It has silver hardware. It has a back pocket right there. It kind of looks like an Hermes Kelly in style. You have a little turn lock at the front. I have the straps right inside. There's one front pocket right there. And then the interior is in this like nude tan colored suede. There's a little bit of like marks at the very bottom, but nothing too crazy. And then the back straps, they attach like this. It's really a cute bag. A nice color that'll carry you throughout the year. And like I said, you can wear it like this, or you can just use the one strap and put it on the other side, and then you'll have a shoulder bag. Or you can have you can get a longer strap and then use this as a crossbody. So you can carry this bag a multitude of different ways. But that's how it looks with the straps on the back. Super fun. And this is going to be item number eight. Ugh, Tara, right? I'm a 34 also, and it, like, does not fit me. <laughs> I really wanted to. I need to lose like 30 pounds. Okay, so this is our um, off-white MCM. MCM convertible backpack with silver hardware. And wait, what did you say, Adrian? Okay, we had this at $3.95. Let's do a little bit of a discount. We're going to do $3.75 today. That's going to be item number eight, if anyone's interested in the backpack. Four and five, of course, Don. Um, four was our Furla and our Dooney. Okay. So. This is the little Furla. It's a metallic little top handle bag. It's a patent gold leather, and then it has like a plastic silver, or plastic, it has like a plastic overlay, so it's kind of like, they make the little quilted parts puffy. And then, this one is the Dooney and Burke. It's a snake embossed printed leather. The parts in between the scales are suede. It has two front zipper compartments and the main compartment. There is a little bit of darkening in all of the pockets, though, like at the very bottom of all the pockets. Okay. Um, then we're off to number nine. Oh, okay. This one, I actually have... This is going to be a set. So you're going to get both the bag and the wallet. Um, the other one that I had the other day was like, pretty popular, which was pretty exciting. And this one, I have, like, what is this? Oh. Why did they do that? Hold on, you guys. Just want to make sure this didn't, like, damage it or something. Oh, 
Okay, that should be okay. All right, so you get the wallet, and then you also get the little shoulder bag. This is the Harvey seatbelt wallet bag combo. It's black and white. Uh, let's start off with the bag first. The bag is in pretty good shape. Um, there may be slight darkening to the white part of the seatbelt, but um, I think you can just throw these into the washing machine. I haven't had a chance to do that yet, but I'm pretty sure you can throw it into the washing machine and it'll look beautiful when you take it out. It still also has a little Harvey's little tag right there inside. Interior is nice and clean. There's a zipper pocket in there and then another open pocket on the other side. And this does zip across the top really nicely. And it does have little feet too on the bottom. You're welcome, Don. And then here's the wallet matching. It has a magnetic snap right there and has a clear ID pocket. Has the um, card slots right there. There's also a removable checkbook holder right there, and then there's more card slots underneath. There we go. Rosalinda, I do giveaways every sale. So this is actually our giveaway question right there. What is your favorite holiday treat slash candy? And I will leave the link for the giveaway. Just leave your answer in the comments of the video, and at the end of today's live, we're going to be announcing the winner. So there is the link in the comments. It was this morning's YouTube video. In the comments of that video, leave your answer. And then today's giveaway, I'm giving away this super cute Sanrio pouch. It's brand new. It has little Sanrio characters as little candies and stuff on there. All right, so that's that. Um, Cause I can give. Oh yeah. Let me actually buckle it up so you can see how it looks. All right, there we go. There's that belt for you to screenshot, Tara. Hold it up for a few seconds. Okay. Uh, hun oh, how did you know I had Mulberry? Okay, I actually have a Mulberry bag and I actually have a wallet too. So we'll do that one next. But um, here, this is our, our little combo for today. You're going to get both. This is going to be um, item number nine. Hi, oh, Maryland. How are you? Okay, so this is our black and white Harvey's seat, belt, bag, and wallet combo with silver hardware. And this one's going to be how much, Fade Rain? Um, okay, we're going to do this one for $55. That's going to be item number nine. Okay. Oh, I do love those ribbon candies, Rosalinda. But Rosalinda, don't forget to leave it in the comments of the video that I linked in the live chat, okay? That's um, the only way you're going to be able to enter is if you leave um, your answer in the comments of that video. All right. So that was number nine. I spelled black wrong. That's just a little typing error. Okay, uh, so number 10, let's do our... Hi, DG House, how are you? Okay, so that's our little combo for the black and white Harveys. Put that over there. Okay, this is our Mulberry. So I have this little Mulberry Alexa satchel in this golden brown tan leather with brass hardware. This isn't the original strap though. It didn't come with one, but I attached this one. It matches almost perfectly um, the leather. This is actually a Cole Haan um, leather strap. So it's still a great quality strap, but it's just not the original. So it is like removable and it is adjustable. So you can do whatever you want with that, but I will just include it just in case. Um, we have the little turn lock right here. It also does have these little magnetic snaps on the side as well. When you open it up, this is suede underneath the top flap. And the interior is just in the mulberry lining. There's uh, our little mulberry medallion right there. The little number underneath. There's a zipper pocket, an open pocket on the other side. And it has the little made-in tag. 
inside of here somewhere. Where'd it go? Oh, on this side. Little maiden tag is right here. Uh, CF, yes, this is a mulberry. I believe it's the Alexa Satchel. And it's super slash. What are you I think, no? Why? This is the one I just got. Yeah. No, I just got this the other day. Yeah, so this is. Item number 10, our Mulberry Alexa Satchel with Brass Hardware. And this one's how much, Vader? Also, I love the little braided detail right here. I think that's always fun. And then it has a little belted thing on the side. You can actually undo this so that it, like, expands the bag even more. Or you can just, like, keep it, like, kind of closed up. Okay, let's do this one for... We're going to keep it under 200 because I did get a, a pretty good deal on this one. So we'll keep it cheaper for you guys. This was item number 10. is 195 for a Mulberry Alexa. Um, the bag in the back is actually a Celine. So this is a Celine... This is a Celine Phantom of the window. I just have some paper in it to make sure it keeps its shape looking good. But this is a navy Celine Phantom in suede. And it also has like a smooth leather trim on the handles, the bottom, and then the interior. And this comes with a dust bag as well. Let me know if you want to see like um, more of that bag. But that was item number 10 is our Mulberry Alexa Satchel for $195. And then, oh yeah, if you guys can give the video a thumbs up, that always does help the channel immensely. I would greatly appreciate it. And don't forget to enter our giveaway. I'll leave that link one more time in case you guys haven't had a chance to enter. Leave your answer in the comments of that video. And at the end of today's sale, we're going to be announcing the winner. All right. There's that link right there. Um, number 11. I do have another mulberry piece. And it's just a small wallet. It's this dark brown mulberry wallet right here. And it has silver hardware. Or not silver hardware, but it has like silver stamping. So there's silver mulberry there. And then right here on the front as well. It's in great shape. Just a little bit of the edge coat has kind of come off right here on the very top. But otherwise, the wallet is in great shape. It's like a pocket organizer. Three, three card slots right there. And then another card slot right here. And then pocket. And then this is also open on this side. Oh, I love the trapeze, Rosalinda. That's a beautiful bag. I actually had a couple of those in the past, too. They're really fantastic. Okay, so that's item number 11. This is our dark brown pebbled leather uh, mulberry pocket organizer with silver stamping. And this is how much feed rain? Okay, this one's $95. The daughter says she loves your big. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Sarah's daughter. I love big glasses. They're my favorite. You guys already know how much I love, like, large sunglasses. They're the best. Speaking of large sunglasses, I do have a pair of key sunglasses right here. And these are super duper fun. I love the color combo. They're black metal, and then the lenses are orange gradient to yellow. Great, like, fall colors, right? And they are huge. Like, I have, like, a large head. I couldn't even wear that hat. These are a really, really good size. This is item number 12. These sunglasses are in pretty good shape as well. The frames are great shape. Very light scratches on the lenses, so nothing that's going to impede your vision. And this is going to be item number 11. These are... Oh, no, number 12, sorry. Black metal key sunglasses with orange to yellow sunglass or lens gradient. And these are going to be how much feed rain? Oh, thank you, Rosalinda. Um, we, uh, let's do these guys for $30 if anyone's interested. Number 12, our key sunglasses for $30. They're really fun. I kind of just want to wear these for a while. <laughs> they make everything look really, like, I don't know, festive.
Okay, up next, we're going to go number 13. Where are we? Oh, this was for the other bag. Let's do... Oh, you guys, also, don't forget, this Saturday at 10 p.m., um, we're having another live sale, but before the sale starts, Anne is actually going to do a tour of her closet. And you guys already know, Anne has an amazing collection of, like, designer stuff, so I cannot wait to see her tour. So, this Saturday, 10 p.m. Pacific time, Anne is going to do a, a live tour of her amazing closet, so... Don't forget to join. It's going to be really exciting to see all her goodies. And if you can't watch the live, you can always catch the replay. So you can always um, watch it later if you can't join. I know it's really late, but I am super duper excited. I cannot wait to see all her goodies that she's going to have. All right, 13 is up next. And let's do... Okay, number 13. I still have this Saint Laurent reversible tote. So one side is in this beautiful gray leather. And, oh, this will also come with a dust bag as well, okay? The St. Laurent dust bag. It has a removable pouch. And then the other side, when you turn it inside out, is in black suede. And then you can see, like, the trim of the gray, which is really nice. So this is, like, this is a three-in-one because you have the removable pouch and then you have the two different ways you can carry the tote by turning it inside out. Both sides have the St. Laurent stamping. Both sides also do have the le the metal feet on the bottom. And this is how it looks inside out. And, <laughs> and I feel like you're going to be amazing. Oh, Melissa, you got to rewatch re-watch um, Linda's live because it was so cute. Linda's amazing. Actually, let me get the link for that. Okay, this is not to be confused with the giveaway link, but I'm going to leave the link for Linda so you guys can watch that. So this is Linda's live. I'm actually going to label it Linda's live. So you can watch this or bookmark it or whatever. Oops. I spelled... My fat fingers can't type today. They're kind of cold. I think that's why. Okay, so that's Linda's live. And I'm going to also leave Lady Badger. Because Lady Badger also did an awesome live, too, where she did a What's in My Bag. Right there. Okay, so that's Lady Badger's live. So you guys got to catch... You guys got to watch both, because they're both amazing. And then, like I said, Saturday is going to be... And live... And... I'm actually going to leave the link for um, Anne's live as well, so you guys can, like, turn on notifications for it if you want. And that's going to be this Saturday at 10, okay? Hi, Norma. How are you? Okay, so that last one is for Anne. Oh, there's Lady Badger. Lady Badger, I just, I just left the link for um, the live that you did with me. Where we did your what's in your bag. That was super fun. And any if anyone else wants to join too, um, after Anne, I think I have Purse Curator that's gonna come up with me. And Finding Solace, I think we should do a live too. Cause you're you're like amazing. And you do lives already, so you're like a natural. Oh, thanks, Melissa. Melissa, do you wanna do one? I think you said you did. So if you wanna do one, let me know so we can schedule one. Alright, so this is item number thirteen. This is our gray and gray leather, black suede, Saint Laurent reversible tote bag with dust bag and removable pouch and gold hardware. But yeah, if so, send me an email if anyone wants to, oh, if anyone would like to do a live with me, um... I want to do one at least, like, once a week because I feel like it's so fun, especially getting to actually know you guys. I know, like, on YouTube, it's almost a little bit, like, one-sided, you know, because you're pretty much just seeing me all the time. But, like, bringing you guys into it, it's so much fun, and I love it. And it just brings, like, this whole, like, different um, dynamic, right? I have to clean my room first. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, fighting still is. Okay, so this one is $500 for a reversible... Um, actually, let's do $475. We're going to do a little discount today. $475 and no one wants... <laughs> Lady Badger, that is not true. I would love to see your closet. I bet you have a ton of goodies in there. You have an amazing collection, I'm sure. Okay. So that one's $4.75, and that's for our reversible St. Laurent tote bag. Let's go on to 14 I don't have a closet. <laughs> Tara... I feel like my closet is like, I don't, I don't even know. My closet needs uh, an exorcism. It is a hot mess in there. I want to put like a cabinet system in there because right now it's just how it was when we bought the house. And it just has like the one shelf at the very top. And it has the one row of like the hanger thing, like the pull. And I don't know, I think I need like something modular. I don't really like to hang things too often. And the stuff that's hung, I, like, never wear. I just wear the stuff that I have folded up. So, I don't know. I need to, like, figure something out inside of there. Lady Badger, I totally feel you. <laughs> I'm, like, same. All right. Up next. Um, oh! Okay. I have... This is a fantastic Kate Spade crossbody bag. It's in black leather. This is a new style, too. So... This is um, one of their new embossed leather styles with a spade design throughout. So, so cute. It's just a nice, large crossbody flat bag. So it's not too wide. Um, has about a, like a two inch base at the bottom. And black leather, it is, uh, the strap is adjustable. Has gold hardware. There's a large front pocket right there. Whoops. And then the interior looks like this. There's just one zipper pocket over there and then two open pockets on the other side. This bag is in fantastic condition. It's uh, in really, really good shape. So it's in wonderful pre-loved condition. There's really like no signs of really like exterior wear or interior wear. The corners are all really nice. Um, there's no rubbing. Hardware is great. Opens and closes really nicely. So this is going to be item number 14. I should do... <gasps> Tanya! Do you want to do a... Tanya, can you do a live with me? Because I know people... Will... Oh, but I know you have, like, Wi-Fi issues sometimes. So, But let me know. I think it would be really fun. Because I know you have an amazing Vintage Coach collection. Hi, Bevin! How are you? Oh my gosh, California closets, yes. We had California closets to our old, um, our, like, the closets, or some of the closets in our old house, and they were fantastic. Oh, of course! Hold on, let me just put the bag, let me just put the thing for the black, um, Kate Spade. Kate Spade, black, um, embossed leather crossbody with gold hardware. Okay, we're going to do this one for $80, and that's going to be 14 Let me show that Mulberry wallet right now. Uh, okay. Again, Kate Spade. And then that Mulberry wallet is right here. So this is a dark brown leather or pebbled leather. And then it has silver stamping. There's the interior. We have the two, well, there's a card slot right here. And then there's another pocket behind it. There's a pocket behind there too. And then we have card slots. Oh, that's crazy. You know, that's kind of... How it is in the Philippines, too, because when my parents bought a condo in the Philippines, it didn't come with closets. Like, you have to buy, like, like the closet ends up being, like, an armoire type of thing. So there's no, like, built-in closets. You have to get everything, like, separate. So, yeah, I think it's the same. Hi, Diana! 
But yeah, I think it's the same in the Philippines. No closets there either. <laughs> but that's the that's our mulberry wallet. All right, up next, I have item number fifteen. Oh, does anyone like wine glasses? Because I got some really cool wine glasses the other day. I have a set of six, and they're like a light blue. Um, I found them online. They're so expensive. For a pair of those wine glasses, it's $70. So it's crazy, and I got six of them. So if anyone's interested, let me know, and I can show you guys. Um, okay, 15 is going to be up next. Um, oh, okay, so I, I still have this guy. This is a coach little sloth wallet. It's in this metallic um, soft piano leather. Look at his little eyeballs. So this one is like a little star. He has like little kawaii eyes. Two of the studs, though, um, some of the color is coming off, so you can see like the silver coming through, but I feel like it adds to the kawaii-ness of it. So it's super cute. It has gunmetal colored hardware. The exterior leather is in great shape. There's a back pocket right there. This is a snap right here. And then you have two pockets, and then you just have the interior. And this is, um, the, and the interior is also in the same Safiano leather. And this is item number 15. Our Coach Metallic Blue Sloth Card Case with Gunmetal Hardware. And how much was this featuring? <gasps> Melissa, I'm so excited for you to get it. Oh, Sally wants to see something? Okay, I'll go grab them right now. Um, right after I type out this number. Okay, this one is 55 for the Coach Sloth card case. That's number 15. And that's $55. All right, there we go. Let me grab the wine glasses really quickly, though. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right. I have... Okay, I have six of these, so I'm just going to show you the one. I checked them all. They're, on, they're all in really great shape. There's no, like, um, none of them are damaged in any way. Um, number 10 was the mulberry. Oh, no one called number 10. I'll show it to you, Lady Badger. It's a Mulberry Alexa satchel. It has, I attached a separate strap though. This is a Cole Haan strap. The leather color matches and the hardware matches, but it's just not the original strap. But Mulberry Alexa. And this is a good size, nice and slouchy. Here's how it looks as a crossbody. Oh, she's listening to me because I said her name. It's a good size. Look how cute that is. I hate being at work. <laughs> Lady Badger. It's so funny. I hate being at work because then I have to work. Okay, so this is... These are the wine glasses. They look very anthropology-esque. Um, the brand of these... Hold on, I have it in my phone. I think... Where is it? Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, the brand is called Zafferano. And for a set of two, they're $70. So, we got six of these guys. So, six means three sets. Seven times two is like 140 No, seven times three is $210. So. Oh, Lady Badger's calling number 10. Woo! Congratulations, Lady Badger. Such a beautiful bag. You're going to love it. 
nice and slouchy for you. All right, let me just mark that one sold. Okay, but number 16, these are wine, our wine glasses. Um, blue glass wine glasses set of six. Oh, that's your first mulberry? Congratulations! Yay! Okay, and how much we're gonna do these for, Vedrine? Okay, we're gonna do these guys for um, $55. So for less than a pair of two, you're gonna get six of these. Really cute. Like, it, like, it has, like, the little dot details. It looks almost, like, under the sea-ish. But this is going to be item number 16, okay? For a set of six. Right, let me put this back inside of there. Okay, it's okay, right? I don't want the box to fall over. Uh, 16. All right, so 17 is up next. And let's do what we have next. Oh, Sally's calling it! Congratulations, Sally! Yay! Oh my gosh! Well, these are all going to you. Six, all six of them. I'm just gonna set them aside over here, though, because I don't want... I don't want anything to happen to them. Yay! Those wine glasses are beautiful. I'm super excited. Now I don't have to like hoard them because I was this close to hoarding them. If I had a set of eight, I probably would have kept them, but I'm like, a oh, set of six. Okay. 16 is up next. Oh no, that was not, that was number, you know, the, we're on 17. Up next, 17. So my brain like isn't working. Okay, 17, there we go. <laughs> Our next item, let's, okay, this one's cool. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this brand. Uh-oh. Nice trap, got stuck. There we go. Okay, this is a brand called Y Project and this brand is actually super cool. They make really fun, like, bags. And their bags are very pricey. Like, I think this bag, the retail price was, like, around $700, I believe. Um, it's just this really cool shape. It's, like, a rectangle. And then it has this, um, what would you call this? Like, an accordion style on the sides. It has silver hardware. Um, the strap also is adjustable. So this is the longest... Actually, I think the, the strap can actually go longer than this. I might be lying. Hold on. Because I think you can extend it even further. You just have to... It has, like, these little back um, pieces that attach through the leather. And this is probably, like, the longest shoulder length that it goes. But I think you can probably expand it, like, literally almost all the way. Because you can just, like, pull out the strap. And then just wear it as a crossbody. I just want to make sure that I'm giving you guys the right information. There you go. Oh, yeah, you can definitely turn this into a crossbody. Okay, let me just show you guys how it looks, because even I don't know how it looks. Essentially, you just take out this whole thing, and then just have the straps on the back. Oh, yeah, that'll make it a nice crossbody. Okay. So essentially, you take out that whole thing, 
and then it just looks like that on the back. And then you do the same thing to the other side. Bye, Sean! Oh, hi, Jean. How are you? Okay. Sorry, I'm just, like, over here trying to get this bag situated. So I can show you guys how it looks as a crossbody. But that's how it was as a shoulder bag. Now, extended all the way. Oh, there we go. Okay. Super cool. And now, you got a crossbody. And then you can make it, you can make it even longer because it has more holes. But this is how it would look at the crossbody. And then it just has this zippered compartment or like the pocket is right here up top. Like that. It actually is a really big bag. Like comparison to my phone, like fits really well inside of there. You could fit a lot inside here. So it's a pretty cool bag, and like I said, it's an accordion style, so it'll expand and get smaller as well. And the brand on this is called Y Project. These bags are like made in Italy too. Here's a little interior leather piece right there. I know it's hard to see, but it's right there. So, it's our black Y Project Rec angle accordion satchel with silver hardware okay how much is this Vadrian? okay we're gonna do this guy for one okay we're gonna do this swipe for 175 and this one is in really really great shape that's gonna be item number 17 Bye, Bevin. Have a good day at work. Now I kind of want to put it back to how it was. <laughs> but it's such a cool bag. Ah, oh, it's going to take me a second to put it back. All right. <laughs> we'll just put it there for now. Up next, you got number 18. And for number 18, I have... This is a Marc Jacobs um, satchel in black leather. This is not the original strap, but it is a Marc Jacobs strap. But it's a different leather. It's like a pebbled leather. This is more of a smooth leather. But it's hardware matches. Um, also Marc Jacobs, just not the same strap. Here's the bag. Um, super duper soft leather. We got the top handles. Crossbody strap is adjustable and removable. Interior just has the Marc Jacobs lining. There's a little bit of like an orangey stain at the bottom. I think it might be like a makeup stain. Um, but other than that, the interior is nice and clean. There's a zipper pocket inside of there and then two open pockets. And this zips up all the way across the top really nicely. And, yeah, this is going to be our next bag. This leather is super soft and squishy. Here's how it looks as a crossbody. Really cute. And this is number 18, black, marked by Mark Jacob Satchel with gold hardware. Okay, we're going to do this guy for $85 for this Marc Jacobs. It's going to be number 18. The exterior of the leather bag, or of the bag, is in fantastic condition. And the interior just has um, kind of like that orangey stain. Otherwise, it's in good shape, too. We will try to remove it further, but just know that there might still be remnants of the stain inside. Um, and that's this guy. Item number 18 are marked by Marc Jacobs. 
great, great bag. Okay, up next, we're going to go to number 19. Oh, you guys, I still have this little number. This is the Michael Kors collection satchel, and this is in that, like, the printed um, blue and white, like, uh, tie-dye print. This has gold hardware. The little sh top handle strap has the white leather woven through as well, and the cross body strap also has the white leather as well. There's one back pocket, and then when you squeeze this, Oh, Mary is calling number 18. Congratulations, Mary. Where's my gavel? Yay! Congratulations, Mary Freeman. This bag is going to you. A beautiful Marc Jacobs satchel. Congrats. All right. We marked that one sold. Okay, number 19. Oh, this is this guy. Okay. Um, you squeeze that hardware together on the sides and this the pop opens the interior looks like this it just has a microfiber lining there's a card pocket right there there's another middle pocket and then there's the back there's no other compartments in the inside it just has a like a tan microfiber lining and this bag is in great shape it's in like new condition this is a michael kors collection piece as well so this is number 19 Michael Kors collection, blue and white tie-dye leather satchel with gold hardware. And this one, mm -hmm. this one is so cute though. This is how it looks kind of like on. Isn't that such a cute bag? So fun. All right, this one is 120. And that's number 19. Set her over there. Oh, okay. I don't know if any of you guys are interested in some heels, but these are Stella McCartney. These are a size 36 and a half. And these are some beautiful Stella McCartney heels. These are in black and then uh, snake embossed printed um, right here. She doesn't use any like animal products. So these are all like vegan synthetic leathers. But these are Stella McCartney heels size 36 and a half. They're in pretty good condition. The most wear is really at the front where there's a little bit of scuffing. Otherwise though, shoes are in really great shape. Uh, the heel height is... Heel height is four inches. So four inch heel height on these. And that's going to be number 19? No, 20. Black and snake print Stella McCartney heels. Four inch heel height. Size 36.5. Okay, we're just going to do these guys for $40 if anyone's interested. Beautiful shoes. Great for, like, an event or a party. And that's going to be $40. All right, and that's number 20. There we go. And then 21, we have... Oh, I have, um, I still have the other Chanel blouse. I don't, Melissa, I don't know if you saw this one, but this is a Chanel blouse, like a knit blouse in white. It's really pretty. It has like this crocheted, these crochet details. It's like a knit blouse. And it kind of has like a little peplumy kind of thing on the bottom with a little Chanel button right there. And then here's the back. It has two panels of the crochet on the back. Um, this is a size small, but like the number size is a 34. 
So here's a little tag. It's only hanging on by like one thread. The other side came off. It still has the little barcode right there. And it is missing the little Chanel tag up here. It was cut out. Um, but she's beautiful. And it's like the, the work on this is amazing. Like the, the details in this blouse are everything. Like look at how beautiful this all is. And like even the way everything is just like stitched inside, it's a work of art. Such a beautiful, beautiful piece. Again, this is a size small. This is our white Chanel knit blouse, size 34. And this one is Okay, this one's two fifty. Let's do a little discount. We're gonna do two twenty five on this guy. So two hundred twenty five for our white Chanel blouse, the number twenty one. All right, twenty two is up next. Oh, Maryland, do you still have the hoodie you thrifted last time? Um, which hoodie was it, Oh, Maryland? Do you know? Do you remember what brand it is? I, do I have any hoodies right now? Baby Chanel. <laughs> Up next, oh, I still also do have our yellow Balenciaga. This is that mustard color. I believe it's called Mango is the name of the actual color for this. It does have a little mirror right here still as well. And I've shown this one a couple times already. This has some wear on the exterior. There are like, there's rubbing, there's marks. Mm, do you remember what? brand it was oh maryland or what video it was because i don't think if if i don't think i have any hoodies right now especially an extra extra large and if i did have an extra extra large hoodie mom probably took it already <laughs> and this has rose gold hardware this has the longer strap too so this has the crossbody strap so this one looks like this on And this is going to be number 22, our mustard yellow Balenciaga Velo satchel with rose gold hardware. And this one is only 350 you guys. That's number 22, 350 for our beautiful Balenciaga in yellow. Such a good color. Such a good fall color, too. So pretty. I kind of want to try to color match it, but I'm kind of scared. Because it's going to lose that quality of the leather, but if I was Hadrian's mom, I'd do that too. <laughs> yeah. It's a great bag. I don't know. Should I just like dye it black or should I try to color match it? If I color match it, though, the only thing is it's not going to be like... Um, it's not going to get like that patina kind of that um, Balenciagas get over time. It'll just be like, you know, or I can dye it black. What do you guys think? Black? Keep it the same color? Let me know what you guys think. Such a beautiful color. Though. Maybe I will try to cat, like get the same color. Linda Diet, what color though? Black or do I keep it the same yellow? Do I try a color match? What do you guys think? <laughs> Wait, dye it black or keep it the same? Tanya likes the yellow. I kind of like the yellow too, honestly. Keep it the same color. Cynthia says to keep it the same color. I love it though, right? 
Oh, Linda says black. I mean, black would be the easy way to go. This would be really easy to dye black. But the yellow, it's so pretty. Tanya says yellow. <laughs> Anita, uh, Vadrian, have you shipped out Anita's pouch yet? Shallow says black. Should I put a Should I put a thing up online? Anita, um, it has shipped out. You should have the tracking info in your email. Let me know if you see it. You know how... I don't know why those emails sometimes go to... Um, go to your trash, but... Okay, I'm going to put up a poll on my... On my I was going to say MySpace. On MySpace. On Instagram. And you guys tell me what I should do. Wait, and what color do you want to dye? Just black? I really want to. I really want to know what you guys think, cause I'm gonna try and dye it or do it today, if I can. So I put up a poll. I'll see if I can send you guys the link, the link for the poll. And you guys let me know what I should do. Uh, this is going to be on Instagram. I'm going to put the link right here for the poll in the chat. And then it should bring you guys to the Instagram. And let me know what you guys think. Because I'm so torn with this one. I don't know what to do. Black and yellow. <laughs> Anne! Okay, Anne, if you send it to me, I don't know how long it'll take, though. I might have, it might take a while for me to dye it, but if you really want me to dye it black, I mean, that's, I've dyed Balenciaga's black before, so. Like a bumblebee. Oh my gosh, imagine, should I do it striped? Oh, I could do a dark brown. Yeah, for sure. Okay, there's the link for the Instagram post. Let me know what you guys think. Vote on there. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know. I'm like really, it's like really busy for me this time of year. I probably won't even have it, honestly. Like, I might, it might take a while. Because after, like once, like Thanksgiving is next week. And then after that, it's just like go, go, go until after Christmas. <laughs> Okay, so let me know what you guys think. Um, that's 22. Oh, bye, Tanya. Have a good rest of your day. But isn't she pretty, though? Okay, up next, I have... <laughs> also, how long should I go for today? I don't know how long I should go for. What happened? Oh, oh, Marilyn, you're not on IG. Okay, that's fine. Let me know here. When, let me know what I think you what you think I should do. Go to thirty five. What, Peter? Oh. All right. Up next, um, I have this beautiful All Saints satchel. This is in navy leather, and then it has a navy suede stripe, and then a black suede stripe. It has these super fun tassels on the side. We do have a crossbody strap as well. And you can, like, cinch this up um, on the drawstrings, so you can kind of, like, cinch up the bag if you want. The interior just has one zipper, or one open pocket, and this bag has, like, no hardware, so it just is all leather, Gorgeous. It kind of looks like the Loewe Flamenco, right? Especially with the, the older style of the Flamenco with the little tassels on the side. And it also has this cool like leather piece at the very top of the shoulder strap. And this is number 23. Go to 40. 
Okay, oh Marilyn says to dye it black. All right, I'll keep that. I'll I'll add that to the votes. So this is our navy all saints um, drawstring satchel with tassel details, and this one was how much, Adrian? Go to forty. Vadrian says not to go to 40. <laughs> Vadrian is trying to ship at the same time, too. That's why, so. Okay. All right, so that's this guy, our All Saints in Navy. Um, up next, I have... Oh, I have this guy. Okay. This one, my battery is on to you. They plugged it back in. <laughs> if you want to go to 35, that's all right, Kathleen. This is a Longchamp belt bag. This is in a croc embossed black leather. It just has Longchamp embossed right there. It has gunmetal hardware. Here's the belt strap. One side is the black croc, and the underside is in a nude tan. I love this one worn as like a body bag. I think it looks really chic and really cool like this. Uh, this does not fit your cell phone, though. Cell phone will pop up at the top, but you can still wear it like this. And then you can just, like, grab it. Actually, that's, like, really nice. And it's, it's, it's pretty deep. Like, it just pops up a little bit, so it's not going to, like, fall out by accident. But it doesn't close up. Okay, okay, 35. <laughs> okay, but we're going to try to go fast, though, because Vadrian has to ship stuff. Um, this is number 24. This is our Longchamp black leather croc embossed round belt bag with gunmetal hardware and this one is a new style like it's still being sold on the longchamp website and i think the retail is like over 500 dollars for this guy it's really really cute we're asking 220 for this one and that's item number 24 longchamp belt bag. I kind of like this. I'm just going to wear it like that for right now. Then up next, we got number 25, and it is this Michael Kors black and gold satchel. The black part is black pebble leather, and it has this gold, like, python embossed leather. Really, really cute. I love that it has this belted detail on the sides, and one side is gold, the other side is, like, the black, which is really fun. And then it has this little lock detail right here. There's a back pocket right there. It still has like the paper lining in there as well from like when it was or, like from when it was originally sold. It has a crossbody strap inside of here. The underside of the strap too is in gold also. And then it has like these gold grommets throughout. And then the interior has um, a ton of pockets. There's a zipper pocket on one side, and the other side has six interior pockets. There's like six pockets on the other side. I know it's hard to see, but they're all in there. Beautiful bag. Oh, thank you, Kathleen. And the crossbody strap is adjustable, and it is removable as well. And it has just like this little, you press the button on there to, op to undo the little latch. So that's how that looks underneath. It would be a beautiful Christmas gift, right, Oh Maryland? So this is number 25. This is our black pebbled leather and um, gold python Michael Kors satchel with gold hardware. And this one, we're asking $85. That's number 25. Should I do like a Christmas gift video, like live, where everything would be like either like new with tags or in like new condition? And then you could do like a gift video or a gift sale. I think that'd be pretty fun. Okay, 26 is up next. <laughs> right, Kathleen? It's so pretty though. Like the gold is so reflective. It's really, really fun. And I do love, like, a good satchel. All right. Up next, I have... This is a another belt bag. 
This is an All Saints one. And it's in this beautiful orange. It has these antique brass, like, hardware studs on it and, like, these little stars. And the zipper as well. There's a back pocket right here. And then it just has All Saints and Boz right there on the front. And then when you open it up, you just have, mm -hmm, you have one interior zipper pocket right here. And the belt on this is a great size. I think this gonna this will fit like up to a size um, 38 like waist. But again, this is a great like belt body bag. And this is number 26. Oh yeah, yeah okay, perfect. I'm gonna like gather like like new slash new with tags items and then I can do like a gift sale. So like everything in the sale will be like gift like brand new or brand new, you know, giftable for Christmas. I think that'd be a great idea. Hi, Diana. Are you having a good day, Diana? We hope you are. We're sending you positive energy. Okay, so this is our orange All Saints leather belt bag. This one is also in, like, new condition with antique brass hardware. And this one is going to be... How much are we going to do this one for? Um, this one's going to be $140. And that's number 26. Okay, and that's number 26. Sorry, it's 26. Uh, yeah. Yay, Linda. Okay, I'm glad you guys like that idea. That would be pretty fun, right? Okay, we're, we're going to do that for sure. It's, um, it's like a, it's, orange it's like a tan orange or a burnt orange if that makes sense i think the color that's coming up on screen is pretty accurate to how it looks in real life so it's like a brownie orange or an orangey brown it's a beautiful color though it's okay diana no worries but yeah, it's like an orangey brown color. Maybe like a nutmeg, like a nutmeggy kind of color. I think that's like a like an accurate color description, like a nutmeg. All right, twenty seven. I would say this is a definitely like a neutral. It's like a neutrally orangey. Um, what can I compare it to? Like, this is, like, in comparison, like, it's just, like, a brighter brown. Because this is, like, this Rebecca Minkoff is, like, a, this is more of, like, a classical brown color. And then, in comparison to this, like, this is just, like, a little bit of a brighter brown color, if that makes sense. It's, like, a brighter orangey brown. Like, a very warm brown. A warm light brown. <laughs> It's hard to describe, but I do love the color. It's really pretty. Okay, uh, our next item, let's do... Oh, okay, I have... Okay, I think I found a strap that matches this bag. So let me just... Is this the same? No. Is this a good one? No. Is this a good one? Maybe. Is this a good one? Oh, I think this is it. Okay, let me see if this actually works on the strap. Oh, that's the only thing. The strap doesn't work. I'd have to attach a different thing to this. Um. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Hold on one second. I need to grab some hardware. Oh, terracotta would be a good name. I love the color names. Let me see if this actually works on here. No, this is too small too. I know I have bigger lobster claw hardware. Hold on one second, guys. I need to find the right hardware for this. Uh, do I have any? 
anything else in here. Oh, I have this cool industrial looking hardware. <laughs> Imagine. This would actually be pretty cool. Let's see. If this fits through here. We're customizing this long chomp. Oh, can you imagine the bag with this like hardware on it? I think I have something else too. This is probably like a little too intense, but it's fun to experiment with your bags and see how things look. And then What? No. Mm. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay, I think, I don't think this will be the official way to connect it unless you like it like this, but I know I have other hardware that I can use for this, but I just thought this would be kind of like fun to try out on here. But I do have this strap that I think matches this perfectly, right? It has like pretty much all the different colors. It has like the navy, it has like the maroony rusty color. It just has like that white pop. I kind of like the white pop. And then crossbody. Okay, so this is number 27. This is our long champ um, Neo Satchel with iCat print. And then I'll include like the strap as well. And this one's gonna be 135. It does look pretty edgy, right? I think it's really fun. Even with like this cool kind of like hardware, I think it looks really cool. But if you don't like it, I can attach like a different hardware that looks more normal. <laughs> I just can't find it right now. I don't have it here somewhere. But this guy is a 135. I think it looks really good though. And I feel like it, it looks pretty good with like the fabric, right? Like the color combo, I think is pretty good. That's going to be number 27. Alright, 28 is up next. Move these guys over. Oh, I still have also this little pouch. Oh, it looks like Lourdes is calling number 27. Congrats, Lourdes. Yay, that is a great bag. Lourdes, do you want me to keep it attached like that? Do you like the way that it looks? Because I can, um, I have like other hardware too that I think will match, but I kind of like that cool, kind of like industrial look to it. All right, I still have this leather pad. <laughs> That's why I don't go on, because <laughs> then you start shopping. <laughs> Lord, it's no, we love you. You don't have to buy anything if you come in. We just like having your presence here. Mmm. I just finished my coffee. Okay, 28 is up next. And it's this little All Saints. Just leave it on there. All right, Lord, it's perfect. I really like the way it looks. I'm learning how to choose the right audio apps for you. Oh my gosh, my watch is listening to me now. Okay, All Saints. Leather pouch. This is in like a taupey tan color with light silver hardware. This one's in like new condition. It just has the suede lining in the interior. And then it just has the All Saints embossed right there. Aw, uh, thank you, Lourdes. I'm here for five minutes and I'm by. <laughs> I'm a bad influence. Sorry. Uh, this is our taupe leather <laughs> All Saints pouch with brushed silver hardware. How much is this featuring? And I am the same way too. Like, <laughs> that's why I can't go there, Anne. 
Alright, this one was $30. No, you bought another Tivoli? That's nice. Alright. Uh, so that's $30 for our All Saints pouch. Again, this is in brand new condition. Super cute. Love the leather. And then up next, I have for item number uh, 29. This one is a little Sandro crossbody bag. This is in a off-white perforated leather. It has like little diamond shapes on there. There's the hardware that says Sandro. It's a brushed brass. Uh, there's a great back pocket right here which will fit your cell phone pretty nicely. just pops up a little on top, but you don't see it in the front. So it's a great little pocket. You can slip your cell phone in and out. And the way that the turn lock opens is pretty cool too. So you go like that, and then it releases the top flap. And then the interior is in a, it's like a navy microfiber. This does come with a dust bag, and there's one interior pocket in the inside. This bag is in like new condition. It's in really, really great shape. Beautiful hardware, beautiful leather. There's the bottom, the side profile. Oh, Linda's calling 28. Congrats, Linda. Yay. That was our little pouch. All right. That's going to Linda. 29, our off-white leather, um, Sandro diamond. Diamond perforated um, brass hardware. And we're doing this guy. We're going to do a little discount on this one. We're going to do it for $75. Exactly, Melissa. I, I, we love pouches. You guys already know. I'm a pouch person. I do like the idea of like a bag organizer. But those are like, you can't always use them for every bag that you have. So, I like pouches, because you can just throw them in and out of all your bags. Okay, so, that's number 29, is our Sandro bag. Oh my gosh, and did you just buy it recently? Yay, it's yours! Oh, Sister of Down's calling 29, congratulations, Sister of Down! Yay! Alright. Uh, da 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 Uh, 30 is going to be up next. That guy over there. I agree, Linda, right? Okay, 30, I have... Oh, okay, you guys. I have this amazing... Alexander Wang backpack. This is in black leather. This is the large size. And this bag is in fantastic condition. Silver hardware. Super soft lambskin leather. Uh, has the backpack straps right here. And you can unzip it so it has, you can have double straps or zip it, leave it together like this. And then you kind of just have a single strap and just carry it on your shoulder like that. It also does have the shoulder strap as well. So you can carry this as a shoulder crossbody bag also, like that. It has a million pockets. It has two zipper compartments on each side. There's a zipper pocket in the top flap. Um, there's a zipper that runs the through the bag, and you can actually open it and expands the bag by like two inches, so it makes it bigger. Um, there's a belted detail right here, and then the interior has one zipper pocket, and then it just has black fabric lining. Diana, we love a pouch collection. I could probably do like a video just on my different pouches. Okay, so this is our large black lambskin leather Alexander Wang backpack with silver hardware. And this one, like I said, is in really great condition. It's, dare I say, it's almost like new. Like it's in really, really, really good shape. There's no rubbing on the leather. Um, there's no stains or anything like that. And all the hardware is nice. There's no, like, discoloration of the hardware or major marks on them at all. Like, very light, light hair marks 
on the hardware, if any. And right, so this one, um, you can wear it like a backpack, but it has the D rings on the side of the bag too. So you can wear this one as a shoulder bag as well, like this. Or you can even like put the straps together and then wear it as a crossbody. The longest that the shoulder strap goes is, uh, it only goes a little bit longer, I think. Okay, so this is the longest that it goes. You can wear it crossbody, it's a little bit higher, but like I said, it does have the D rings on either side of the bag, so you can wear it as a crossbody. Um, so this is gonna be how much fade rain for this one? Okay, this one's gonna be 160. Like I said, this one is in like new condition, and that's number 30. Okay, um, do I have any more belt bags? The Oh, I got an Amazon package. Isn't it beautiful? It's The leather on this is scrumptious. Um, the only other belt bag I have right now is that white, I have the white um, coach. And yeah, I think that's it. So the white coach, I have the long chomp, and then that All Saints. She's calling your name, and you can even connect the straps, if, like these straps, if you wanted to make it a crossbody too. Mm, I feel like this is probably around two and a half pounds, three pounds. Um, let me see if I can find the weight for this. It's going to be kind of hard to weigh on my weighing scale. Um, Alexander Wang. Let's see if I can find it. Will it tell me how much it weighs right here? Mm, no, it just tells me the size, of course. A horse, of course. Will it tell me on here? I used to have a little weighing thing. I wonder if I could find that. Let me see if I have my other weighing scale thing. Weighing scale thing, are you here? Of course, they're probably like left it in my luggage or something. I don't even have it here anymore. Okay, I don't have a weighing scale thing. Um, yeah, I th it's probably like around two and a half to three pounds for this guy. Um, oh wait, someone bought it? Wait, what happened? Oh, Linda's calling 26. And that's the, oh, that's the Orange All Saints. Congrats, Linda. Yay! That one's really cute. You're really gonna like that one. And it's in, like, this one's in, like, new condition, too. The color is beautiful. Uh, where'd I go? There I am. Oh, wait, you called 25, not the, not 26. Sorry. That's the black Michael Kors. Oh, wait, wait, 26 or 25? Oh, 26. Okay, perfect. So this is yours, Linda. Perfect. And then Anne, you're calling 30. Congratulations, Anne. Um, 
Linda, yeah, it's beautiful. You're going to love the leather on it. You already know All Saints leather is always fantastic. All right, congratulations, Anne. Ugh, so buttery soft. You're gonna love this one. Okay, up next, 30, I think we're gonna go to 35 or 40, depending on how, how long it takes me to get there. Um, what time is it anyway? It's one twelve. It's fine. It's fine. Um, uh, okay. So up next, we got 31. And so now I only have the two belt bags left. So I have this one and I saw the long chomp one. So I have these two guys. I'll show you guys this one again. So this is the white um, coach belt bag. This one also is in like new condition. It's in like a cream color. So it's not like white white. It's like a cream with gold hardware. It has a little coach hang tag right there. It has a fabric cross or fabric strap for the belt strap. And this one has like an adjustable thing right there. This one could probably fit up to like a 38 inch waist. It's a really good size. There's a large back zipper pocket and then the front um, opens up to a tan brown fabric lining. There's no pockets inside of there though. So this is it just like that. Um, any belt size 85 or 90. You sold me with a riddle. Yes. All right. We're going to go to 40. We're going to go to 40. Okay. So this is our, um, cream pebbled leather coach belt bag. Okay, and this one is from the other day, I think. So let's do, oh, cream, no, that's not it. Okay, this one's 85 for this coach belt bag. Sit over down. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like um, belt bags are it depends on how, like, how, like, the size and shape of them. Sometimes they, like, look, like, I don't know. I feel like some bags are better as, like, a body bag than, like, a belt bag. Like, I had, um, this other, was that a rag and bone? Like, a really large rag and bone belt bag. And it looked better as a body bag than I did, like, a belt bag. Because it, like, looked really weird. So. Okay, so that's 31. Thirty-two is up next, but this is how this one looks as like a body bag. I think this one looks really cute. Where'd it go? Like as a body bag, does that look really cute? Oh, Kathleen, I'm glad you're having fun. Wait, sister, um, my sister's keeper. Are you calling this one, or were you, did you just press it by accident? Bye, Lourdes. Have a good time at work. Okay, so this is how this one looks on as a crossbody. And then let me... Oh, I, I, do you guys want to see the fur vest that I have? I think I showed them just once, but they're so cute. So I do have, like, these really cool fur vests. I also have these cool pants. Um, Trina Turk, if anyone's interested, these are navy, and these are a size 2. So these are size 2 Trina Turk floral pants. Let's just type these out. Trina Turk floral pants, navy with red and purple flowers, size 2. <laughs> oh my gosh we want to see okay Don. sorry oh, but these are new with tags and these are these are retails $268 for these guys and what did you say it was Vadrian okay so these were 60 but let's do a little we'll do 55 okay um let's do more bags though 
You guys are funny. All right, let's do more baggy bags. Up next, I have. I think I. Oh, this one's cute. Black, pink, and red bags. Black. Oh. Uh, all I can think of is black pink right now that you said that. I'm like, black pink! Black pink in your area. So this is an anthropology suede leather pouch. It's in like this orange suede and then it has like these gold like little dot designs on them. And then it has a kind of like a gray leather zipper pull. This has gold hardware. And then it just has like this orange fabric lining. There's a little bit of darkening inside of there. And some darkening on, like, there's some, like, I don't know if it's really showing up, but the suede also, it kind of has, like, some rubbing, oh, primarily on the corners. And, yeah, it's just a really cute little leather pouch. You can use this as a pencil pouch, um, makeup, whatever, throw it in your purse. Really fun, great orange color. You should have a sale called Mom's First Choice where you give us first tips. <laughs> Sister, we're down. You know, I try to do that before Mom sees anything. <laughs> oh, thanks, Linda. I do love a good pouch. You already know that. Okay, 33. This is our orange suede anthro pouch. Hi, West Coast gal with gold dot details and hardware okay this one's just gonna be twelve dollars for this little pouch that's gonna be item number 33 12 buckaroos and that's number three and that's an anthro leather pouch from anthropology it's really cute oh Linda's calling it congrats Linda Yay! You're going to have such a good pouch collection. I love it. All right, 34 is up next. Oh, you know, I wanted to see if I have a strap for this. So let me see if I have something. But this is um, by a brand called Ash. Um, Ash bags are actually pretty expensive. I always see them like at consignment stores and stuff, and they're always like so expensive, like hundreds of dollars. But this is a little mini ash satchel in this really nice, like pebbled brown or brown blue leather. It has um, black hardware. There's a little top handle right here. It's missing the crossbody strap. Um, does this match? No. I'm trying to see if I have like a cool strap that'll go with it. Um, where are my other straps at? Do I have anything that'll match this? Do I have anything navy? That's black. Gold. No. I have so many straps. Um, no, this is like a lighter blue. Would that look kind of... No, nah, it's like it's too close. That just doesn't match. This is a belt. Oh, look at this belt. So cute. Kind of looks like an Alex belt. Wait, what did you say, Adrian? What about it? The strap? Um, I'll look. Wait, what, what color is it? Mm, wait, it's Marc Jacobs? Now I'm looking. It wasn't the one that I attached to the other thing, was it? No, that was like an older one. Um, wait. 
Um, phone will fit in here, so fits inside perfectly. There's actually a ton of space still inside. Um, there's a zipper pocket inside, and then it actually has like two built-in card pockets on the other side, and then another larger pocket behind it. And there's also another pouch, a little uh, slip pocket in the front when you open up the top flap. And, oh, the only thing is, we're going to repair this before we send it out, but there's a little bit of damage right here where some of the, like, the leather has lifted. We will glue that back into place, and you're not even going to notice it. Um, this is just like an, like an aesthetic, like, uh, little buckle. It doesn't actually do anything, so the snap closure is right here. So this is just for looks. So we'll fix that before we send it out. But just know that that's going to be repaired. Um, hold on. I'm trying to see if I have a... I thought I had a strap that might match this. But I guess I do not. Even like a contrasting strap, I think, would be pretty fun for this. Ooh, what about like a metallic one? I feel like metallic would be kind of fun. Would like a metallic strap be weird with this? Um, what other straps do I have? I have like this navy fabric strap, but it doesn't really quite go. Actually, it kind of does. So I have this. Anyway, um, a black strap. Do I have any black straps? That one is too intense. Black strap. I got a Michael Kors strap or this thin black one. I don't have a black chain. I think I can eventually get a black chain strap. Okay, I'm gonna stop looking. Um, <laughs> I don't think I have anything that'll really match this one right now. Yeah, I just buy it without the strap, because you can attach your own strap to this. <laughs> um, this is going to be item number 34. Navy, blue, ash, leather, um, mini, um, satchel bag with black hardware. And this one we're doing for... $30. That's true. So that's number 34. Um, sorry, I don't have a chain that really goes with it. So $30 for this guy. That's going to be item number 34. And Linda's calling it really quickly. Congrats, Linda. Yay. It is a really cute bag, though. I know you're going to like it a lot. And again, we're going to glue up that piece for you before you get it. So it'll be... All right, that <laughs> not me taking like eight million years to look for a strap. I'm sorry. And thirty five up next. Let me put these things back. Okay, up next, I have, um, let's do, hold on, let me grab some more bags really quick. I'll be right back, guys, hold on a second, and just got some more bags right here.
No, that's twenty four hours a day. Next pair take on. Ah Okay. Got more bags. All right, up next, I have this cute little number. This is a Kate Spade, and it is in a Safiano leather. Here we go. This is a black Kate Spade. This is also a newer style, too, that um, probably has come out within the past few years. And I the new love. Oh my gosh, wait, who's having salmon? That sounds delicious. Okay, sorry, I'm like so hungry. Um, this is a black pebbled leather. It has like a nice, like, um, almost like a Safiano feel to it. And then the interior is actually in that Safiano, like a tan. And then it has just this middle dividing pocket right there. There's no other like compartments or anything in the inside. It's nice and clean inside of there. The crossbody strap is adjustable. It is removable. And we have a little um, Kate Spade like luggage tag detail right there on the front. Top handles, has little feet on the bottom. Safiano style leather. This is gonna be item number um, 35. So this is our black Kate Spade satchel with nude Safiano leather interior and gold hardware. And this one we're going to do for, let's do this one for $65. That's going to be item number 35. 65. Okay. Then up next we got 36. Beautiful. Sorry, it's like a little little squished, but <laughs> the beautiful bag. Oh, let me move this one to this one. Go over there. Um 36. I have this one is a mark by mark, and it's in like a taupe, like a light gray taupe color. It has the antique um, gold brass hardware, crossbody strap is adjustable. What, Adrian? Oh, and then zip across the top is really nice. The interior, um, does have a couple little pen marks, primarily at the bottom, and there's some, like, discoloration, but nothing, like, major. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sneeze. And the exterior leather is in pretty decent condition. There's minor rubbing on the corners, but nothing too crazy. It's a great little cross body bag. Like that. This will fit your phone perfectly as well. Fits inside really nicely. Finding solace. <laughs> There's no need. Hi, hi, Veronica. Um, Anita, the only belt bags I have left are the Longchamp and then the Coach. Um, oh, wait, I had a little utility belt bag, I think. Hold on, let me check that. So this is our, uh, what color is this? I said, like, a gray taupe. Hi, Style Chat, how are you? Gray taupe, leather... Um, Mark by Mark Jacobs cross body bag. Yeah, how was your, um, your first day of work was the other day, right? How was it? With antique gold hardware. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen. Oh, yeah. How are those Black Friday sales? Anyone shopping them yet? Okay, how much is this, Vaderin? For this, uh, Mark Jacobs. Mm. 
I'm okay, we're gonna do 55 for this one. Number 36. It's a good little crossbody. Ooh, we're one day away style chat. Oh, Liz is calling number 36. Congratulations, Liz. <laughs> Woohoo! Super cute. Okay. Um, let me grab the other little belt bag I have. I think it's more like a little utility bag. Where'd it go? Now I lost it. Now that I was talking about it. I saw it in here for a second. Or was it inside of here? No, here it is. Yeah, it's just like a little utility kind of like belt bag by Want Less Essentials. It still has like the little um, tag or the little um, hang tag things on it. And it's just like this one little round pouch. So it's really just for like change. Um, but you can attach like other things to it. Like if you had like this coach little bag like this. This is a coach belt bag too, but it's missing the actual belt. But you can just slip it through right here in the back. Like what I'm going to do right now. And then you have like another kind of thing on here. And then we just run this through. And then now you have like a little belt bag thing. The strap on this, like the belt strap though, is really short. Like this is like a size small belt bag. So you're not going to be able to <laughs> wear it like a crossbody or anything. So you, this is like a size small. So you'd have to have like a 20, like a 26, 28 inch waist, but you can attach this onto like a different belt as well. But the brand is Want Less Essentials and it is brand new with tags. I wouldn't have a navy pant anyway. Oh my gosh, thrifting in Kansas sounds amazing. Oh no, Kathleen. <laughs> okay, um, so this was number, what number are we on? 37. So we'll do the want less essentials belt bag round size small in black and brown with brass hardware and Um, for the Want Less Essentials belt bag. Uh, let's do this guy for 65 for the Want Less Essentials belt bag. And that's 37. Melissa, yay! Wait, you gotta open it right now and tell me how you like everything. But, there we go. It's just a cute little belt bag. Again, it is like a size small, though. So I'm sorry the belt strap is, like, really small. Um, but it's super cute. I like this little pouch. Perfect for change, your AirPods. I'll let you sleep at my house. <laughs> Fighting stillness. Okay. And then... I will just show this one again because I already, uh, since I just showed it. But this is a cute little coach belt bag. You can like attach this onto like either another belt or like on the strap of a bag. And it has like two little snap buttons right there. You can also attach a little um, wristlet onto here if you wanted to carry this like a wristlet. And this is in the vanilla uh, coach monogram in pebbled leather. 
Sister of a Down, any more backpacks? Um, I actually think I have some backpacks outside. If you guys want to see those, I'll grab them really quick. And then this has uh, gunmetal colored hardware. This is a large compartment right here, perfect for your cell phone. It fits the largest iPhone with ease. And then there's just a front zipper pocket right there. <gasps> Ooh, congrats, Diana. That's awesome. Did you get the little bag? Did you get the bag already that you traded for? Because I want to see it. I love those little mini Almas. This is our vanilla coach monogram canvas and a leather uh, belt bag with gunmetal hardware. And how much was this food ring? Do you remember? I think I showed this yet. Oh, you're in the car now. Um, let me see how much this one was. Oh yeah, this one was, oh, and that's the other one. Oh, this one's $50. For $50. And that's item number 38. <gasps> Diana, you have to post photos. Okay, let me grab some backpacks. I think I have some backpacks out there. Um, oh, it looks like Cassandra Cassandra called that one first. I'm so sorry, my sister's keeper. Uh, Cassandra called that one right before you, but congratulations, Cassandra. This guy's going to you. And that one was this guy. All right, 39 is up next. Oh, before, hold on, let me. I forgot to show you guys this one. I do have this beautiful Chanel satchel. And this is in, it's like a peacock green blue color. It's in this super soft lambskin leather has the um like the antique kind of like gold hardware and this guy the crossbody strap looks like this so you can double up the straps and then it's like a little shoulder bag the color on this is fantastic too it's like a beautiful like green blue color depending on what you're wearing it looks more green or more blue and then the hardware is really pretty too. You can also wear this one as a crossbody. You can actually tuck the longer strap like inside if you wanted or have it like this. And then you can wear it like that. It's a little bit on the shorter side as a crossbody. I, I don't know, I really like this length. Um, but it's really, really gorgeous. The hardware is in beautiful condition. There is a little bit of like slight discolorations, like a little bit of silver is coming through, but I feel like it adds to the beauty of the bag. The color, like I said, really, really pretty. There's very minimal like rubbing on the corners. Um, I think the most that you really see is just on this strap right here. There's a little bit more darkening on the edges but it's really not even that noticeable at all. So the turn lock opens and you have a front pocket right here. And then the interior is in this cream color canvas lining. I don't think there's any pen marks at all in here. Yeah, I don't think I see any pen marks at all. There's a zipper pocket here in the back and then two pockets on the front. And then we have our little Chanel serial number right instead of there. That's awesome, Levon. You gotta um, post the link for your video so we can watch. But isn't she gorgeous? That's her. She's squishy and soft and amazing and I don't know, the color on this is really great. So, 
I forgot to share this one with you. Here she is. Yes, Kathleen, like a very, kind of like a similar shape, right? <laughs> All right, and this is, thanks, and I try to find really good ones for you guys. I really like, I feel like this is a super unique color, too. Uh, so this is our peacock, I'm going to call it like a peacock green, blue, uh, lambskin, leather, Chanel flag bag with gold hardware. And like all my Chanel bags, this will come with like a certificate of authenticity. Um, no dust bag though. I'll include like a different dust bag with it, but it doesn't have the Chanel dust bag or anything like that. Um, and this is going to be... Do you remember how much this one was going to be, Adrian? Okay, this one is $2,750. Uh, that's going to be item number 39. She's a beauty. Look at that. The color is so good. And this is like a green-blue like that goes through the year. Like, I feel like this would look good with anything. And, like, I feel like it's a neutral, but it still has, like, a really good pop. But yeah, she's gorgeous. That's uh, number 39, if anyone's interested. I will save all my gift cards. <laughs> but yeah, so that's um, our Chanel. Okay, I'll be right back though. I will get some backpacks. And I think we're gonna go to like 45 or something because they. We're, like, literally on 40, and I said I would get backpacks. So I'll be right back. Um... Oh, Mom's back home, too. Hello. 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 What bag are you trying to hide?
<laughs> All right, you guys, I'm back. Sorry, my mom came home. She came back from the grocery store, and she had a doctor's appointment. Her gout is back, so I got to pick up her medicine after the live's over for her. Oh, her poor foot. Oh, my goodness. Sell me that green bag right behind you. <laughs> Yeah, Don, um, Zach did get a haircut. I just cut it yesterday. No, yesterday? Was it yesterday? No, the day before yesterday. Yeah, I just cut Cade and his hair. And then I think I might try to cut Eliza's hair today, but he's always very resistant against getting a haircut. Because, I don't know, he traumatized himself. Like, it's not my fault that he's traumatized with getting haircuts. Because he cut his own hair at the very beginning, like around the beginning of this year, because he was playing with one of those, like, they're those toys that you that stick to the wall. And he was playing with it before bed one night and he got it stuck in his hair. He, I guess he freaked out, he couldn't get it out. And then he cut it out himself. And then my sister saw him the next morning get, to get him ready for school. And he, Still had some of that sticky stuff in his hair. And, like, his hair was, like, super crazy looking because he cut it. And he cut, like, these super short, like, pieces in the front. So he had these little things like this. Hot mess. And then I had to fix it. And, yeah. So he got traumatized from that. Thank you, Don. <laughs> oh, thank you, Anne. But, yeah. So, Eliza. Zachary. Taylor Thomas, you can't step on the bag, Zachary. That was a step. On yeah, I saw you step on it. <gasps> you gotta be careful. Everyone says they like your haircut. Okay, Zach said I cut it too short, but that's literally what he wanted. He said he wanted it shorter. No, I did not. Side. Yeah, you did. I said I want it shorter in the back. You can't just have it short right here, then you're gonna look like you have a square head. Look at you, you look super <laughs> handsome. I like having a square head. Huh? I wanna have a square head. Square head dream. You're, no, look at the back. The back looks super good. Show them, show them the sides. Sit down. Go down. <sighs> okay, turn. See, look at that. Look how good that is. Wow. It's, that's why you can't appreciate it. I'll take a picture so you can see it. Oh, Uncle John's calling you. Yeah? <gasps> Uncle John's calling you. Go. Be careful. Don't step on the backs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so we're on item number 40 now, I think, right? Yeah, we're on item number 40. We're going to keep going. We're going to go to, like, 45, because I have, um, other things that I pulled for you guys. Uh, but I do have some backpacks. I actually have three. So let me know what you would like to see, but I have, this is a pink, what are you called? Oh, this is a pink Herschel. This is, like, a canvas backpack. This is the Pink Away backpack. These are actually really, really good, like, backpacks. Like, even travel or school backpacks. These are fantastic. And then I have one Rebecca Minkoff backpack. And I think that might be it for all the backpacks that I currently have. Because, I don't know, you guys went off with the backpacks. I don't have any more. You guys really like them. Um, bye, Kathleen. Oh, no. Stay safe from the storm. He looks like a cape. Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, I think his haircut looks really good. He just was like, he wanted me to cut the bottom so it's like not like on his neck anymore. And I was like, well, if I cut that, I gotta cut like all of it, you know? Like, I kept the top pretty much the same length. I just cut very little. And then I just, yeah. Uh, Cassandra, send me an email. Let's go to 50. <laughs> okay, um, 40. Let's do this. Let's do the backpack first, the Rebecca Minkoff backpack. This one is in good shape. I think the only thing was it had like a little, yeah, it has this little like mark right there on the side, and I can't get that one out. And then I don't remember if that was it. But I think that might, hold on, let me zip it up so I can see. So it has that one mark right there. And honestly, I think that's it. I think that's the only mark on the backpack. Um, 
but it's in this like gray color. Uh, it also has the same, it's like a gray green, almost like a, I would call it like a spruce. Spruce is like a gray green. Um, even the zipper is kind of like in that same color. And then we have the silver hardware. We have a front pocket right here. And then the interior has two pockets and then a zipper pocket right there. And then our backpack straps. Um, yeah, this is this guy. Oh, Cassandra, yeah, Cassandra, send me an email, and I think maybe we can work something out on the backpack. So this is our, oh, bless you, Vadrian. Um, gray, green, Rebecca Minkoff, uh, nylon backpack. Oh, no, CF, I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, it's late over there. Okay, and this backpack, um, we're going to do... Let's do 65 on this guy. It just has that one little mark that I showed you guys on the side. Otherwise, like, the backpack's in pretty great shape. So, um, that's number 40. Oh, you know, I should try a shout wipe or something on it. Maybe I'll get it out. I've tried, like, regular wipes, but I haven't tried a shout wipe yet. Um, so that's 40. And then 41... Um, I don't know if you guys, do you guys want to see the other? Well, let's just do all the backpacks. Um, this is the Pink Away backpack. This one is in great shape, too. Sorry, it's a little linty. Um, I think there's, there's a little mark right there on the front. It's, like, blue. And then, other than that, I think there's, like, a little scratch on the leather right there. But I don't think it's showing up on camera. But it's just like a little scratch. Nothing crazy. The straps are good. All the other corners are good. There's um, this piece right here. So you can put it on your luggage. And the interior is in this gray lining. There's a laptop pocket back there. Two open pockets. And there's a little bit of like rubbing just right there. So there's like a little bit of discoloration. Um, there's a key fob. Another pocket. And then a zipper pocket up at the top. And... There's also this front pocket that's really large, and it has a zipper pocket and then another pocket underneath it. So tons of compartments inside of here. And this is number 41. This is our pink away uh, nylon backpack with leather trim and silver hardware. And this one's gonna be how much Vaderine for this backpack? Okay, we're going to do this guy for $55, if anyone's interested. That's number 41. All right, and then a 42. Our little Chanel... Okay, um, oh, you guys, I also did find <laughs> another belt bag. I totally forgot that I had this one, so, um, this one is by a brand called, um, Syrup and Rose, and this is in like new condition. It's in this beautiful brown color leather, and it has just a black fabric strap. This one is another great, like, body bag option, and the strap on this gets really wide. Like, I think this go up to a size, like, 40 like a 44 like waist size and then we just have this one zipper compartment in the front and then it's just a black interior lining and then it has like brass hardware so this is our brown leather syrup and rose belt bag with black fabric belt and brass hardware and this one's how much Vadrian? Okay, we're gonna do this guy for $45 and that's gonna be 42. Oh, CF is in um, Germany is where CF is from I believe. Uh, 
Okay, then 43. There you go, yeah, Germany. So that's our other belt bag. That's the last, well, that's the only other belt bag that I have, though. I'm pretty sure now. I forgot that I had that one for a second. Okay, up next, I do have, um, oh, I have a vintage coach. I, I know a couple of you guys were asking for a vintage coach. This is just a little shoulder bag, and this is in black leather, and this has silver hardware, the coveted silver hardware. It's very rare to find these vintage coach bags that have the silver hardware. It still has the hang tag right there, and this guy was made in the United States. And then the interior, uh, it's unlined. Vintage has a zipper pocket inside of there, and that is it. The strap is a good length, too. It's a good little shoulder size. Oh, Shallow, that's cool. I love that your sister lives in Ireland. I think that's so fun. Do you get to visit her um, very often, Boots? Okay, so this is our black vintage coach shoulder bag with silver hardware made in USA. And this one is in really great condition. Like, you wouldn't have to dunk this one at all. Um, it's just kind of folded in there because it was inside of a, like, a box. But once you get it, like, back to its regular shape, it's in. It looks really, really cute. And all the corners are really good. There's no, like, staining or marks or anything on this guy. And this one's how much, Vadrian. Also, the interior zipper is really good. And then the top zipper works really well, so. Okay, this one's going to be $60. Hi, Katie. How are you? Oh, do they really? Oh, I love food. Hope you're doing well, Katie. Oh, Norma is calling. Hi, Norma. How are you? Congratulations. Number 43 is going to Norma. Beautiful vintage coach bag. Okay, 44 is up next. Oh, busy with work. Makes sense, Katie. But thank you for coming in and saying hi. You guys got to check out Katie, too. She's also a fellow reseller. Um, Katie, leave your Instagram handle so then everyone can find your stores and stuff. She's also in the Discord. So if you got... Oh, let me leave the link to join the Discord group. If anyone would like to join our little Discord group. Um, if I can find it. Oh, here we are. Let's leave our link. If you would like to join our Discord link, you guys always have, like, such a fun time in there, too. And it's 24 hours over there. You guys can always have someone to chat with. That's our Discord group if you would like to join. Let me know if the link dies. Um, it does that if too many people click on it. Or um, it's been too long. So just click on there, and you can join our, our little group. Oh, yeah, if you guys can hit the like button, that always does help. And also, don't forget to join us on Saturday night at 10 p.m. Pacific time. And it's going to give us a tour of her closet, which I'm very, very excited about. And if you can't watch during the live, you can always catch the replay. You can also catch the replay of Linda's live and also um, Lady Badger's live as well. Lady Badger did a What's in My Bag. Linda did a top eight favorite things from sunglasses, pouches, wallets, and handbags. And then Anne's going to give a quick tour of her closet, which I think is going to be super duper fun. I can't wait to see all her gorgeous things inside of there and that's this saturday okay saturday at 10 p.m pacific time i know it's a little late but that's always what time the saturday sales are and if anyone else would like to join me in one of the lives it's always i feel like they're really really fun and gonna be our third person and yeah send me a dm um we are gonna have also a uh, purse curator gonna come on as well i still need to figure out when we're gonna do that and then I think that's the only other person that sent a message saying that they wanted to do a, to do a live with me. So if anyone would like to join too, and multiple like if like if you guys want to come on um, with other people, we can do that too. Like I can think I can bring on up to three or four people at a time in the live to show what like like the little video. So if on and if anyone else would like to come on, let me know. 
Oh, thank you, Shiloh. I'm glad you really like it here. I love you guys, too. Okay. Uh, so that was our four, number 43. 44 is up next. I think I actually have another vintage coach bag somewhere. Oh, I have this one. This is a vintage coach pouch. Beautiful. This one's in black leather. It has a little hang tag on the zipper pull. Um, there are a couple little indentations on the back side. Can you see those? Like little indentations on that side. The front side, though, is in great shape. There's no marks or anything on there. Uh, open it up. Oops. And then the interior looks like this. This one is, um, this one's made in China. But this is uh, still like the vintage ones. And it has like that ticking stripe canvas lining inside of there. Interior is super duper clean. Zipper works beautifully. <laughs> and... <laughs> okay, so this is our vintage black coach um, pouch. With... Uh, stripe interior. Yeah, I think once. But, um, what is it? Let's do. Okay, we're gonna do this one for $60 as well. It's gonna be item number 44 for our vintage coach pouch. Super cute. Little charm. Okay. I know I had a little bag, but... I think I have it here somewhere. It's probably underneath my stuff. Uh, 45 is up next. And we got... Oh, I still have this one from the other day, too, if anyone's interested in this um, Coach bag. This one is a beautiful Coach satchel, and it's in this really pretty, like, tan leather with gold hardware. We have the top handles. We have the crossbody strap right here. They have little turn locks on either side of where the zipper is. There's also this little hang tag right there. This is one of those like non-embossed coach hang tags. And then there's a large front pocket right here where the turn lock is. And then the interior looks like this. We just have one interior zipper pocket and the interior is actually in pretty good shape. There's just a couple little marks on the very bottom. You can see those little marks down there. Um, other than that, though, the interior is in great shape. And the exterior leather is really nice, too. Very minimal rubbing, if any, on the corners. And also, this is how the bottom looks. Yeah, it's, like, very minimal um, rubbing on the corners, if any. I think this might be, like, the most rubbing is on this side right there. All right, and that's item number 45. This is our tan coach satchel with turn lock details and polished brass hardware. And this one is $75 as item number 44 or 45. Okay, 46 is up next. And I have, oh, this is a Kuyana crossbody bag. Um, this one is in black. So it's a black Kuyana crossbody bag. The top flap is in a pebbled leather, and then the body of the bag is actually in a smooth leather. So you kind of have those two different textures going on. Um, we have a top flap that opens up, it's magnetic, and then it has the crossbody strap, which is adjustable. And what's cool is that you can actually make this into a belt bag. It actually has these little um, loops inside, or these like holes inside right here. And I think you can make this into a belt bag. So you just string the belt of the strap through here and then wear it like a body bag. So you can wear it a couple different ways. And then the inside just has this one pocket and then it just has Kuyana in gold right there. And this is our Kuyana bag. The crossbody strap, like I said, is adjustable and it is removable. And that's 46, our black pebbled leather and smooth leather Kuyana flap bag with gold hardware. Uh, 
Uh, I think so. Like back. Let me see. Black Queen on a flat bag. Okay, this one. Let's do this one for. I think we had this one for like over a hundred, but we're gonna do a good discount. Let's do seventy-five dollars for this guy. Seventy-five dollars, and that's item number forty-six. We're going fast. All right, we're almost to 50. Okay, we're, I think we're going to end at 50 because I got to go pick up my mom's medicine at the pharmacy. So, 47. Hi, Hannah. Oh, Hannah, I don't know. I don't know if you replied to me, but I think you asked me about that Rebecca Minkoff. So, um, if you are interested, the oil slick Rebecca Minkoff is still available. So, it's this guy... It has the oil slick from purple, green, and like a blue color. And then it has the gunmetal hardware. So this is number 47. Rebecca Minkoff oil slick patent. Um, what is this called? Mini Mac. Oh, you did? I'm sorry. I, I haven't checked on there. But um, actually, let me see. I'm so bad recently with, like, replying. Um, the base color of this one, I think, is green. Yeah, is the base color of this. I know it's, like, hard to see on camera, but it's, like, a forest green is the base color. Oh, it's like patent mini Mac with um, gun metal hardware. And how much was this one, Vadrine? Okay, this one was 70. Yeah, but the base color of this one is like a forest green color. All right. Congratulations, then, Hannah. This one's going to you. Okay. And 48 is up next. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one's in really good shape. You're going to love it. Put that one over there. All right. Um, 48. Just a couple more left. So we did this guy. Trying to look for that other vintage coach bag that I had. I know a couple of you guys wanted more vintage coach, but now I misplaced it and I cannot find it. Um, it's okay. I'll bring that into the next. Oh, there it is. Okay. Here's that other vintage coach. This is like the shoulder bag. And this is just like that. This one does fit like your iPhone inside. Like that, and it will like zip up and everything. And this one is made in Costa Rica, so it just has like one interior pocket inside of there. And this does zip across the top. This one is in great shape, also. Nice black leather, and this has just like the regular brass hardware. It is missing the little coach hang tag, though. Oh, oh, Marilyn, I think you have to, um, oh, she's probably not going to see this. She has to, um, what's it called? No, actually, let me chat, like, might be behind in the video. We are on number 48 now. You might have to reset the video. To catch up. Okay. <laughs> Hannah. I think um, I don't have as many as I used to. Because luckily we got, we were able to rehome a lot of them. So this is our vintage black coach shoulder bag. 
made in US, oh, made in Costa Rica. Yeah. Okay, and this one we're going to do for $65. That's item number 48. They actually re-released this style, and I think they're selling it for, like, close to, like, $400 or something. Um, so that's item number 48 for $65. Yeah, I was able to clear out a pretty good amount of stuff. Okay, so that was 48. Um, I don't have any Fendi bags at the moment. I'm sorry, Fanny. Um, hopefully I'll get some maybe this weekend. Uh, so come back on Saturday. <laughs> CF, um, just my brain. And... Like, I, I keep track of, like, the, yeah. I keep track of, like, everything. Like, I have spreadsheets and stuff. But, um, yeah. I don't have, like, an inventory system where I know where everything is exactly. I kind of just remember it. All right, so that was 48. We got two more items left. You're welcome, O Maryland. Okay, perfect. Um, 49. O Maryland, we have two more items left. So number 49 is up next. And I have this Tory Burch wallet. This one is in a beautiful pink color. It's quilted. And it does have, like, some slight rubbing. I think it's primarily on this side. You see, like, some slight discoloration, like a little bit of lightening of the leather. Um, I wonder if conditioner will darken it up, though. Hold on, let's see. Sometimes it's just a little dry, so it looks a little ashy. So we'll see if the conditioner brings back the color. Okay, it brought some of it back, and not all of it, but it did do a little something. Sometimes your leather is dry, and it kind of, like, when it looks a little ashy, and you need to add conditioner to it. But sometimes that color is gone. In cases where the color is gone, the when you add the conditioner, it'll add, it'll kind of make it like a little darker. So you can see some of those darker spots, but not everything darkened up. So some of it was dry, but some of it also lost color. And when it loses color, it's probably because it's dry or that top layer of the color has come off. Um, but that's, yeah. So there's a little bit of discoloration or like color loss on this guy, but still in really good shape. It's not very noticeable at all. And this one side does have a pocket. When you open it up, the inside is nice and clean. Here's the interior. We've got tons of card slots, a zipper, a uh, change purse, pocket in the middle. The lining of that is in pretty good shape. Very minimal discoloration at the very bottom, but nothing like, you have to like, kind of like open it up to look inside the crevice, but still in good shape. And the leather on the inside is nice and clean. And this is... Oh, Fanny, can't wait. I'm so excited. Anne is going to be here showing us her her closet. So I cannot wait to see what she has inside of there. This is our pink Tory Burch quilted wallet with gold hardware. And this one is going to be... You always find the good bags. <laughs> right, Shiloh? That always happens. All right, this wallet is $50. That's going to be number 49. Okay. And then our last item for the day is going to be item number 50. Okay, so this is 49. What do we have for number 50? My fingers are cold. Um, let's do... Okay, let's do this. This is our Balenciaga day bag. I still have this one. It's still available if anyone's interested. This is the large Balenciaga day bag. There's one more size bigger than this one. It's the extra large, but this one is in great shape. 
This is in black leather gunmetal hardware. It doesn't have the little removable um, mirror though. So just know it doesn't have that. But the bag is in really great shape. The leather looks really good. This is what these bags look like new when you get them. Like the leather already looks like this. So it's in great, great shape. There's the back. All the corners are really nice. There's no like rubbing or um, any discoloration. There's a zipper on the front. The interior is in this black fabric lining. There's one zipper pocket in the back right there. And this is how the bag looks on. And this is the newer version too because it has a thicker crossbody strap. And this is how it looks on. It's a really good size. You can even fit like a laptop inside of here. Hi, Ambasto. How are you? Agreed, Hannah. The, I feel like I've never used any of my Balenciaga bag mirrors, really. But I don't know. They're always nice to have just in case. But this is our last item, our black, large Balenciaga day bag with gunmetal hardware. And this one is how much, Vedrain? Yeah. Okay, and this one is $500. And that's our last item, number 50 for 500, our black Balenciaga day bag. Okay. And I will leave the link one more time for the giveaway also. And if anyone has any questions about anything, uh, let me know or I can leave uh, or you can send me an email. Uh, our question is right here. What is your favorite holiday treat or candy? Uh, thank you again, Edie, for providing today's question. What's your favorite thing that you look forward to for Thanksgiving? Like what is your favorite dish that you guys like have during your... Or it doesn't need to be like Thanksgiving, but any sort of festivities. What is your favorite dish? I know we made it to 50. Oh, I love that Velo. You did such a good job restoring that one, Hannah. I was asking everyone what I should do with the yellow one that I have. If I should try to color match it or I should just dye it black. If you guys want to leave your answer or leave like um, your answer for this, it's in my Instagram stories. Actually, I'll link it in case um, anyone wasn't here. Um, if you can answer my Instagram story, it's right there. All right, well, let us get our YouTube comment picker. And today's giveaway is for this super cute Sanrio pouch. Shiloh, okay, Shiloh. So I have two of you guys that said um, black that don't have um, Instagram. So I'll add that to um, the results. Okay. All right, we're going to pick the winner in three, two, one. Do, 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 do. Oh, Melissa. Melissa, you are the winner today. Gingerbread cookies and pumpkin pie are your faves. Congratulations, Melissa. You are the winner of our pouch today. Yay. Congratulations. <laughs> So we will send that out to you. Congratulations, Melissa. And thank you, everyone, for being here today. I had a blast. Um, I love that you guys talked me into going to 50 items today. <laughs> I haven't done this many items in a while. So um, it's been fun. Invoices will be sent out within the next 15 minutes. Don't forget to join us on Saturday at 10 p.m., for another live sale and also Anne is joining us so that's going to be really really exciting I can't wait to see her closet um, I may or may not pop on tomorrow too because I, I have gotten quite a few messages about um, asking about Friday sales since I used to do them every Friday so if I do come on tomorrow it'll probably be around 8 or 10 p.m. Um, but it'll just be a quick one but uh, I, you might you might see me tomorrow evening 
So, thank you guys again so much for hanging out and joining me today. Uh, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, Diana, O'Marilyn, Linda, and DG House. Melissa, again, congratulations. Um, Sally. <laughs> And Basto, Cassandra, I will check your email right now. Dorothy, um, O Maryland, Shiloh, Linda, uh, and DG House, and everyone. I'm sorry if I didn't mention your name, but I'll be guys so much. I'll see you guys all in the next one. All right, adios, Reggie, bon voyage.